Fuck it up. God right. damn it. Fucking do it. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. This is YQ. Why? Subs versus super. Why would you pick one over the other? All right. Oh. Again, you know, James, we're bridging gaps. That's what we're doing, son. All right, so why? Why would you do that? Cause you know, it, it's a narrow window now. Sound, subsonic, actually much quieter. All right, so there's two sounds from a gunshot. One, it's the explosion of the hot gases pushing the bullet to hit the oxygen in the atmosphere when they exit the barrel. There's an explosion. Damages your hearing, it's loud, it hurts, it's scary. All right, the second sound, when you have a supersonic projectile, it's breaking the sound barrier. So downrange generally, so it's the same sound as a tip of a whip cracking. That's breaking the sound barrier, that's what that is. The only sound you get from a subsonic when you shoot it, when it exits the muzzle, is uh, the explosion at the muzzle. It doesn't break the sound barrier, it's quiet downrange. So a muffler or a silencer, it masks that. So you don't get that sound, it's quiet. An advantage to supersonic, it's more killy. All right, supersonic, it's got more linear velocity, it's gonna kill stuff better. All right, that's why people use it. Then fast twist enters the conversation. Whole different deal. Also, when it comes to long barrels or supersonic, if you wanna shoot really far, supersonic long barrels, that's your jam. Otherwise, short barrels that are practical, subsonic ammo. All right, so historically, subsonic, it's not that accurate out of a 308 because you have like a one in 11 twist and the bullet's turning real slow. So that big, long subsonic bullet, dispersion's all over the place, not accurate. If you take a rifle cartridge and you want to shoot it subsonic and it's a long, heavy bullet, you need to spin it faster. So go from 111 to 1 in 7. Oh, your accuracy is so much better. Go to 1 in 3. Okay, now you're starting to shoot MOA groups, all right? Got those long bullets, they're going slow, you spin them fast. Good dispersion. You know what that does too? So if you have an expanding bullet, it expands easier when it's a rifle bullet when you spin it fast. It also delivers more energy in target. You think of your blender. All right, we've already covered this, but all right, you have the slow, you have the medium, you have the hyperspeed. Go turbo, all right? Mm. More effect on target. And that's what we got here. Slow twist, eh, supersonic long barrel, okay, fast twist. We wanna go shorter, cause that's the trend, all right? So for like, you know, in recent history, like the last 25 years, so the time that most of you have been alive, barrels are getting shorter. You know what also is happening? Bullets are getting longer, they're getting heavier. That combination is designed for short barrels with fast twist. Oh my God, it's a revolution. Things are happening. All right, so we're shooting subsonic, we're shooting heavy bullets, we're fast twisting. All of a sudden, we're shooting accurately at hundreds of yards, and we're also putting energy on target and killing things. All right, so in the last 20 years or so, the war on terror, you know what's happened? Optics are getting really good. We're putting money into that. And bullet design is getting good. They're more efficient. So you got new bullets, they're more better. So you, all right, new bullets, <laughs> they're more better. But we're learning how with the long rifle bullets, fast twist, to get them to expand and dump energy into target. Subsonic, it helps fast twist, it helps energy on target. I mean, it basically helps our narrative. And lastly, again, how far you shoot. Let's be honest, all right? Are you shooting a thousand yards, all right? You and Rodney and Larry, y'all go out bass fishing in the morning, you deer hunting in the afternoon on the East Coast, you're shooting 120 yards, all right? You're not shooting that far. Subsonic, it's where it's at. Get you some good expanding subsonic projectiles. Whoo, light it up. No noise pollution. You're not offending your neighbors. Put a little silencer on there. Good times all around, all right? So supers versus sub. If you want to shoot far, real far, I mean far. That is spit all over the place. Did you see that? It was crazy. Red leather, yellow leather. All right. <laughs> If you want to shoot real far, you go on 1,000 yards, use supersonic. All right, if you're only shooting inside of 200 yards, 
Put the seven mag away, all right? Take your daughter out hunting with you. Take your wife, all right? We'll put a silencer on it. The sound's not gonna scare them. It's gonna be quiet. Subsonic ammo, oh, it's gonna be silent. They're gonna have good times. You'll enjoy snacks, good times, views, animals. And you can shoot stuff two, 300 yards, subsonic expanding ammo. Put it on target. Ooh, harvest the proper animal and you're not offending your neighbors, all right? You're not scaring your wife and you're killing animals dead. And that's why.